Hey guys, Penny's here, the mayor there, and let's just talk about it. We're here at the Cosmo. We are checking out, but we had lots of issues, and we're not a channel that really complains much ever about a room, eh, Liz? No, our or, rooms are normally fine. Yes, um, but we had some issues here, and we wanted to talk about them, so just run everyone through everything, Liz. So we got here and you have a soaker tub. Soaker tub had no plug. Fine, I'll call down. I called down, told him there's no tub there's no plug in the tub. Can we get one put in? It would look like it was a built in one, so it's not like it's just like one of those little rubber plugs. Couldn't get the iPad to work to change the temperature of the room first night was just brutal. The internet is brutal in this casino hotel. We couldn't connect through the laptop, the tablet, or your phone. No, I had no internet the whole two times, we, two days we were here. Yeah. And it's really hard to communicate with people and make plans. So I get an email our first night saying, okay, we've We've addressed your to your uh, toilet situation, and we've got your toilet fixed. There was no toilet situation. There was no problem with the toilet. The toilet was fine. So why are they setting someone up to fix our toilet? So then I went back down the next day, talked to a guy. Well, you have to be in the queue, which you're in the queue. So it's first come, first serve to get things fixed. So we went out for a bit, came back. Still wasn't fixed. I sent an email to, I uh, responded to the email that they said they fixed the toilet. Explained everything. Told them that I was not happy and I probably will not come back. Like, the nice thing was we had a balcony. But, you have all, like, I have no internet for two days. I can't communicate with people. I'm trying to make plans with people. It's hard to communicate. I have to go to neighboring casinos to use the internet. <laughs> the joke. So, I think... And they finally got the tub fixed, right? Last night. Last night. So, like, we're checking out this morning. So, barely any time. The, one of the big reasons we stayed here is she likes a tub when we come to Vegas. We have Planet Hollywood booked for three nights originally. We got this offer. It was $69. No resort fees, right, Liz? Yeah. And uh, when she was down there talking to the guy giving her complaints he's like oh well you're not paying resort fees so there's really nothing i can do he goes i can waive your resort fees oh wait no you don't have resort fees so don't i'm not there's... that's it that's all i can do so like he could have discounted the room some more or done something like so as far as i'm concerned i won't come back here unless it's fully comp and, and it's a phenomenal offer yeah so, because uh, we could have went to Planet Hollywood, and I don't mind Planet Hollywood. It's got a big tub and in, in the regular rooms, and um, and we would have paid nothing. Yeah, no resort fees because we're diamond over there, and uh, yeah. So that's about it, guys. That's our uh, feelings on this place. We're not like trying to just say, oh, this was dirty or that was dirty. I don't. The room seemed pretty nice. No, the room was was immaculate it was clean you know it was a nice room i liked the room i just the tub thing was disappointing but honestly the biggest issue is, is the, the internet yeah you're trying to make plans with people like it costs us a lot of money to text back and forth and we've been talking to our friends the last few days and they're like oh yeah cosmo's notorious for having bad internet well that's not going to work for us i will go to a place that's a little less nice that has fucking internet so that's that and uh that's our rant right,